Grand Rising family. How's everyone doing? Another coffee talk with Corey in the morning. Um, and there's something really uh, prevalent on my mind that I wanted to discuss. So if you want to join me, just kick back, relax, breathe, say thank you to the universe, thank you to the sun, thank you to Gaia, thank you to our soul for this beautiful now moment, and whatever tools you have around you to assist in relaxing. So for me, it's coffee and a cigarette, and that's perfect for me right now through this. So I wanted to have a little soul share, a little skill share of um, something that's really important and prevalent right now. Something really important in the collective. And it's, you know, it's a message that came through um, as a part of a community I'm in um, by the wonderful Lisa Transcendence Brown. And... um, Big thanks to her, um, because this is something that I've been doing a lot in my reality, and I felt like it was really, really important to share um, regarding service. So something said to start making a series of videos regarding skills, um, whether it be energetic sh- skills or just sharing some tools um, that I use. And, you know, a big one that's coming through is service. Is service. How can we update our service roles and how can we be of service greater to the collective in uh, every now moment? And the reason that this is occurring is first off, um, there's been a lot of funky energetics lately. Um, If you saw my last video, you could probably see it in my own face. I was going through it, but still I I had some things to share. I had some insight and some love and some light to share. Even though it didn't feel super loving, there was a lot of power coming through. And there's still a lot of power coming through right now. Um, But I wanted to talk about how we can begin to weave our light into our own reality. And a part of that was that in the, the, the last video, I spoke of creation and how we've all been kind of given our paint sets and it's time to paint in our world. And... It just feels very important right now that we all begin to share that beautiful, that beautiful, beautiful light with the world in whatever way that we can. It's a part of building um, and it's a part of sharing the frequencies of new earth um, and beginning to weave that light into the collective as we begin to paint the tapestry, weave the tapestry of um, this creation and of this beautiful life that we're all embodying in every now moment. And so when it comes to service, the greatest thing that anyone can do, and even I do, when I find that I'm, I feel stuck, right? So I want to I get into this really quick. There's a lot of moments where, you know, especially for me, I've got various service roles that I fulfill as a part of my soul's pathway and as a part of my mission or as a part of my purpose that I do. But I still find those moments where I feel like I know that there's more that I could be doing, right? And of course, the mind will automatically go to big grand stage things, right? Like, why don't I do this huge project or that huge project? Which, yes, that's, those things are important. But really, I find that when... So it is about balance, okay? So this is coming forward. It is really about balance for ourselves. It's a balance of self-care, taking care of ourselves, and then doing the service roles as well. But service, the word service itself, sometimes has a connotation, right, to it. A framework, a lens of like, oh, I have to, I have to or, you know, it's, it's going to be, you know, grueling or laborious or I'm going to have to sacrifice or, you know, all of those, the Christed distortions that we speak of all those Christ distortions will start to come forward because once again, it's been so heavily ingrained in the collective. And, and it's important for us to work through all of those different distortions 
in regards to service. But this level of service that is just really easy is just being the light in everything that you do, right? So the best thing to do is that if you find that you want to do more for the collective, ask the universe where you're needed and where your light is needed and then allow yourself to be directed there. So the biggest and most important thing <clears throat> has been for me waking up in the morning going, where can I be of greater assistance to my fellow human today? Where can I be of greater ass assistance to the collective? What can I do? And then what happens is I end up being um, guided, whether directly or indirectly, to people, places, situations where my light, my support, my compassion, my care is needed. And it really is important for, um, for the collective right now to begin to weave in this Christ consciousness into everything that we do. There's been a big, through all the passageways lately, we're seeing this birth, right, of the whole and the holy within ourselves. And we're finding that again. And so, of course, we go through the levels of dissolution um, of everything that isn't that, everything that isn't holy for that to come forward. But a part of us expressing our angelic presence is being able to go share that angel heart and those angel wings with the world in whatever way we can, however big or small. So it really is important right now, and it feels like this skill share is important to share, is asking, creating that communication link with your universe, okay? Where am I needed today? Where's my light needed? And then allowing yourself to be guided there, allowing your universe to take you there. So sometimes it'll be a redirect, right? You'll hear that signal. I need to go to the store today. Why do I need to go to the store? You're needed there for some reason, right? It might be as simple as making a phone call, right? That's another thing too that'll happen is sometimes I ask, okay, where do I need, where, where do I need to be of service today? Where can I be of, of, of greater assistance to my fellow human? And, and a name will pop up or or someone will come across my mind and I know that I need to connect with them. So I just simply connect. No intention, just show up. Just show up. A part of this is sometimes it's as simple as just you being there, shedding your light. Free of thought, free of speech, right? I've had many times where my service that I needed to provide was to just to witness something. And to share codes in a reality. To shed light on something. Sometimes it was just to be a uh, crying shoulder. Sometimes it was there to crack a joke, right? It doesn't have to be very, very huge, right? And we don't have to endlessly give ourselves to service to the point where we're left without. So it's a part of our journey. It's a part of the soul pathway that I find many of us go through when we, be, when we begin to be of service, right? Is to, uh, to burn out. It's to give way too much of ourselves and to not be able to receive. It's an important lesson for us to learn about the dynamics of self-care, but also the dynamics of giving and receiving. True reciprocity. This universe is about balance. So what do you, whatever you put out is going to come back. But we also have lessons and truths and blocks that we need to go through and clear from our own reality so we can begin to, uh, you know, we can, we can begin to discover the truth of our level of service. So creating that communication link and that communication point, where can I be of greater assistance today? And then just following that path, you know, walking as the soul, being the light. Keeping it very simple <clears throat> and doing this in your own reality too. Especially for those of us that show up a whole lot, you know, like online. So for instance, a lot of my presence has been online. And then I've found myself in this wonderful opportunity where I'm living at a, a, in an RV park with a community here. And I felt that pull, that it was time to connect. And I felt that it was, it was because, so first off, <sighs> was I was kind of living a little bit of a fringe dweller, right? I was living on the 
the edge of the world. I didn't really talk to anyone because I didn't feel like I, I fit in because of my belief system. But what this experience was calling for and what the, the, the people that I connect with and relate with need, it's, it's not my belief system. It's my heart. It's my golden heart. My emerald heart. It's my I am presence. I'm just sharing that in however it needs to be expressed at that point in time. So it wasn't, and it never is, about just shaking everyone awake and blasting truth in their face. It's as simple as showing up in your glow and allowing yourself to be the lighthouse for other people. If you were to sit down with your universe and look at everything that needs to get done for New Earth to be fully anchored, you would be blown away. There's a lot that needs to get done. But we don't have to pressure it ourselves or do it all either, right? The simple acts of kindness create the greatest change. And I've noticed that. Just be yourself. Be kind, loving, and compassionate. Be beautiful. Share your light. And the thing is, is that once we start to do this and we recognize how important it is for the world, but also how it gives us purpose and it gives us our, our own unique defined pathway, then we just start living that 24-7 and we don't have to look for it anymore, right? We don't have to create that communication point of asking. Sometimes we do. Like for me, even though my life is full-time, being of assistance to humanity, um, <clears throat> sometimes I know that there's more that I can do. And that's when I create the communication link and then I get off my butt and I do what I can do, right? While honoring my light, while honoring my soul, while honoring my light body, while honoring myself through the process. But the biggest thing that I've learned about being of service is that you have to have a passion. Some sort of passion, a hobby, something that you love to do to be able to ignite that purpose and to fulfill that for yourselves. It really is about soul alignment, right? Stepping into your joy. What makes you happy? What do you love to do? Right? And then doing those things that's going to be the fuel or the acceleration point of you being able to show up better in your reality. And you know, even that word better, right? It's a better, worse duality. It's going to assist you in being able to fulfill and to keep walking us to light. So then it, if we have to, not have to, consciously choose to share our light with the world, what can we do to step into our light every single day? So for me, it's always with the morning routine. That's what sets the day. The foundation for the day for me is always my morning routine. Get up, ground into my purpose, ground into my passion. Why am I here? Show gratitude. Show gratitude for the universe. Show gratitude for this experience. Show gratitude for life. Right? And there are some mornings where it's just really impossible to do because of what I'm clearing. And then I recognize, okay, I've got resistance I need to clear. So then I just sit with the emotion, go back to bed, do what I need to do until I wake up in that beautiful place again. And so the grounding, the gratitude, the shifting out dream state, clearing my field from dream state is really important too. Because there's a lot of really deep um, astral work going on while we're in dreamscape. So clearing off that energy. For me, some mornings, it's, it's a cup of coffee. And one of these, <clears throat> which isn't, this isn't the healthiest option. I by no means recommend it. But um, for me, that's, that's part of my pathway, my journey for right now. And that's okay. Do what you need to come into pure presence and to be with all of you here right now. And from that present moment, we can begin to build upon that at greater and greater levels by extending that outward into the collective field. Okay. But it starts 
with being able to step into that peer presence, that center point, that neutrality, that beauty. Being able to witness that, see that within all of creation, right? So begin to connect to the unified expression, the unified experience. Luckily for me, I'm in nature. So sometimes it's just tuning into the birds chirping and allowing that noise to get louder, that music, that song of the bird to get louder, to just settle the noise of the mind or the constructs that can get in the way of that beauty, right? So do what you can to find that beauty in your reality and allow yourself to amplify that beautiful, perfect reflection and to begin to activate and initiate that stillness and that presence of that magic into your world. Breathe it in. And then go walk into your world. Where am I needed today? With all the codes that have come through Equinox, even the past couple years, since the harmonic convergence in the 80s, all the beautiful energies, we could begin weaving that into the collective field. We, begin, we can begin weaving that. This light is not meant to be held on to and coveted. This light is meant to be shared because it's for all. It's for everyone. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. It's a lot bigger than we think it is, though. It's not a little light. It's a huge light. It's a huge, beautiful, loving, powerful light. <laughs> and it's, it's here. It's here now. So service roles are shifting. <clears throat> We're going to be getting uh, the downloads for the new assignments, the new roles, the new things that we're doing. Allow the redirect to occur. It's not a redirect. It's just a course correction. Right? And our roles change. <clears throat> but either way, regardless, whether it's to show up online, to create a course, to put yourself out there more, or to just go into your community and make some friends and to smile and to be a glow worm, right? Do what you can to be of greater service and to begin embedding these beautiful crystal codes. To begin sharing them, weaving them into the collective experience. And to assist everyone in remembering the lighthouse of who they are. The soul of who they are. The light body that they are. Be that activation point, that initiation point for their beauty, for their magic. And just breathe in. That relief of knowing that we made it. And relax, drop the shoulders. Drop the weight, drop the armor, drop the weapon, and go, oh, okay, we're here. We're here now, and that's a beautiful thing. Okay. So, kids, what did we learn from today's lesson? Being silly here. Get your paintbrushes and begin painting in your reality with those beautiful rainbows, those beautiful golds, beautiful platinums share the metallics share all of those beautiful rays with the world in your experience and in your reality and watch your reality shift and watch your 
you know, the word coming through self-esteem come back. But it's not ego self-esteem. It's just soul drive knowing of the power and the depth of who you are. Okay. Your confidence will raise. You'll feel more sure about your gifts and who you are. Mastery is simple and it's easy. It's just completely opposite of the human trajectory. So you doing this and beginning to honor your soul and your light and and how to work with your soul and your light will come forward more and more. But it's the pathway that we have to walk. And we might not have all the tools at the beginning of the pathway because the pathway is designed so as we walk, we build the tools, we build the skills, we build the insights. And then we know and then we take those tools and we share it, right? It's the mage and the sage. It's just walking our experience and then being able to share that with the world. So even with service, if you feel like I'm not ready because I don't know enough or I haven't, what it doesn't matter. You, you don't have to go out and start spewing quantum dynamics and quantum physics to the world, right? You don't have to discuss the soul and the higher self and the galactics and the elementals. No, it's just being kind and beautiful to the world, right? So while the invisible realms are an important part of this and understanding energy and light codes and the soul and spirit and all that stuff is important. You don't need all of that stuff to be of service. You just need to have a kind, caring heart. You just need to be able to care. That's it. You just need to be able to care. Find your care bear and shoot those rainbows out into the world. However, you're called to do it in your own authentic expression. And you'll find more ways to be able to do that. And you'll be able to discover more gifts, more abilities, more ways to transmit this beautiful energy into your world. Okay. But just keep it simple. Keep it simple. It's the small acts of kindness and the small acts of faith that build up over time. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do. Just know that you're being supported. You're being uplifted because you're doing that, right? Once again, the universe is about balance. Today, you might be the answer to someone's prayers. And today, you might be the miracle that someone needs, right? But we don't know that if we're beating ourselves up with shame and guilt and judgment or we're laying all bed and day grief stricken. And it's okay. Those feelings are okay. And they're right. Everything you're feeling right now is completely correct. And especially when we're discussing service. All that doubt. All that lack. The feelings that are coming to the surface are real. Right. But your small acts of kindness in this world to self to others is really important. Stop beating yourself up and go be soul today. Okay? I love you guys. Much love and respect to everyone out there. Let's keep soaking up the sun. Let's keep sharing our light. And I will see you